It's a hot muggy day here in Florida. We're gonna make up a tri-tip on the pellet grill. We're gonna cook it low and slow for about one hour. Then we'll take it off the pellet grill, crank up the heat and get some crust on it. And while it's smoking, we'll make up a chimichurri sauce to go with it. Hey, by the way, you might wanna watch this whole video. I'm gonna give away a digital thermometer. For our seasoning, we got two teaspoons kosher salt, two teaspoons black pepper, one teaspoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon ground cumin, two teaspoons onion powder, one teaspoon chipotle powder, and one teaspoon garlic powder. Here we've got a 3.1 pound tri-tip. And for a binder, just going to use a little Worcestershire sauce. Now I have trimmed it up. It had quite a bit of fat and silver skin on the back. That should work for the binder. Now we're going to take that rub we made, that seasoning, and cover both sides of this tri-tip. You want to make sure you get these ends. No reason not to have some seasoning on there as well. I guess these are technically sides. And we're just going to let this tri-tip sit here, soak up the seasonings and get happy while we get this pellet grill going. We've got cherry pellets in the hopper and the pit boss is set at 225 degrees. Just want to put our tri-tip in here down away from the fire cup and let it smoke. First thing you want to do is chop up about a half a cup of fresh parsley. Then we're going to come in with one half of a jalapeno. Now I've got a half a cup of olive oil and we're going to put these goodies in the olive oil, the parsley, the jalapeno. To that I'm going to add two tablespoons red wine vinegar, four teaspoons of minced garlic, one teaspoon dried oregano. Here we've got one teaspoon of kosher salt, three quarters a teaspoon of black pepper, and one half teaspoon of red chili flakes. Just give this a big mix. Then one final step I'm going to do, and this is not traditional for chimichurri, I'm going to add some diced red tomato to give it some color. Flavor will be awesome too. Uh, typically you'd use like a red pepper, but I didn't have one. I only had the jalapeno. You can uh, put this in the fridge. Now let's get back to that tri-tip. It's been one hour. We're going to take a temp check on this. We're up to 119. That's right at where we want it. So I'm going to finish it with the sear. So let's turn this temp on up. 75. You can see our temperature on the pit boss is right around 450 now. I'm guessing it's been on here eight to 10 minutes. You can see it's ready to get off. I want it medium rare. I'm going to get it off here and let it rest for 10 or 15 minutes. Hey, while this tri-tip is resting, you've seen me using this Chef's Temp X10 thermometer today. I'm gonna to give one away. Look, full disclosure, they sent it to me, but I've used it a half a dozen times. I love it. You wanna enter for a chance to win one of these brand spanking new, still in the box. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see us cook. Our tri-tip's been resting here for about 10 minutes. You can see the temperature's worked its way on up to 131. Oh, nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Can you see that? She's a beautiful medium rare inside. For my taste, I'm just going to put a few extra sea salt flakes on here. 
And then how about some of that chimichurri we made? Would you eat that? So let's just cut off a manageable piece. Get a little of that chimichurri on there. Let's give it a try. Nice beefy flavor. I don't get a lot of smoke, but you know, it's a pellet grill and it was only on there like an hour. So you're not going to get a lot of smoke. That chimichurri is the perfect offset. I get that red wine vinegar at the very end, just a mild hint of that jalapeno, maybe some of that red pepper flake. It's going to be an awesome afternoon for me now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I've got another tri-tip recipe right down below.